Hi everyone, my name is Christy and welcome to my trying a new makeup product everyday series. Today I'm going to be trying out this one size ultimate setting powder. So this is a product that I got in my May 2022 Ipsy Glam Bag X and that unboxing video is up here on YouTube if you still haven't seen it yet. But I got this in the shade Translucent. And this is a super fine 14 hour long wearing blurring setting powder. It's vegan and it retails for $30. Is that right? Yeah, you can get it at Sephora for $30. And I love the packaging on this. So this is Patrick Starr's makeup line and such beautiful packaging on all the products. I love the pink. So this is a big setting powder, at least for $30, you are getting a lot. So rather than just like the little dots in the sifter, it has O slash S for one size. So I'm just gonna pe peel the plastic off. Okay, very interesting. Only the slash in the middle here has the opening. Let's see if the whole thing comes off because I like for one of my setting powders, you can take it off completely. Oh yeah, I think I can fully remove the sifter. I don't know, I just find it to be a little bit easier than having to tap off the perfect amount into the lid or something. So I like that you can open it up fully. And so first I'm gonna try this as my concealer setting powder. That's when I use setting powder the most. And I just freshly applied some concealer that's creasing so I'm gonna just use my dampened sponge here, dip into the powder. It does have a little bit of a off-white color, so that should be good for no flashback, but hopefully it doesn't darken my under eye too much. Ooh, it definitely has a soft finish, and it did completely set the concealer and so this under eye versus this one, I mean, my under eyes are not looking very bright. <laughs> not the best concealer that I used, but it didn't alter the color of my foundation or concealer. It didn't darken my under eyes, so that's good. This will be, I think, a good under eye setting powder. So just tap off any of the creasing, go in with the powder. So you could bake like that, I don't really bake, especially because my skin's been so dry lately, but it does blend in super easily and you're not left with a powdery finish, which is something I'm always picky about. I don't want it to look like powder on the skin. I want it to be soft, invisible, and prevent the creasing, and that's exactly what this is doing. I do have dry skin on my cheeks, so my skin right now is not the best for using a setting powder because even where I got it on my cheeks a little bit, it definitely was drying out the skin even more, emphasizing the dryness. But my chin looks like it could use a little bit of like shine removal, so just picked up a little bit more. I wish this came with a puff. That would be nice, but works fine with the dampened sponge. Yeah, and it does a nice soft matte setting effect. Maybe for the fun of it, I'm gonna pick up a little brush here and dust it on my forehead because my forehead is where I get the most shine and it doesn't have the dry skin. So a good place to test out this powder. Yeah, I really like that it's smoothing, mattifying, but not drying as long as I don't already have dry skin there. And you can go in with a lot and it just blends away so easily, so finely milled that you can't really go in with too much. The thing is though, this claims to be blurring and I'm not seeing any blurring effect. Mostly just the oil absorbing, like shine <laughs> removing. So now checking back in on my under eyes, yeah, still no creasing, and my under eyes don't look or feel dry, just set, softened, 
So I really like this for both the under eyes and setting any other place that you want to make your makeup long lasting, get rid of shine. So this did everything I was expecting and hoping for. And I really do feel like this is going to be able to last so long with how much you get in here. And I feel like since it's like so finely milled, just a little dab can spread so far. So this is another great product for the summertime. So good product to get in the May Ipsy Glam Bag X because it will help if your skin gets shiny, if you get sweaty, and it will remove that without leaving any visible powdery residue, just soft, mattified skin. But if you've tried this out, I would love to hear in the comments down below your thoughts on it because I'm very curious how this works for different skin types. But thank you so much for watching my video today. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can see the makeup that I try every day. And I will see you tomorrow in my next video.